Continuing on in section 5.1 of the book, we're going to take a look at theorem 5.3, which is taking the derivative of a natural log function. Okay, so um, essentially we're going to write it in u form. So the actual derivative of the natural log of x is just 1 over the x, 1 over x, and then um, u is going to take the place of if we have a function, a polynomial, or something else along those lines. Uh, when we take that, it's really going to be the uh, 1 over u times the derivative of u. So that'll kind of play out as we do some functions here, and you'll be able to see how that works. So let's look at example 4. We have we want to find the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of 2x. So we're going to let u equal 2x and u prime, which is a derivative of u, is equal to 2. So we're going to use the definition number 2 up there, uh, d dx of ln of u is uh, u prime over u. So really we just have to take the derivative of u and put it over u. So this ends up being 2 over 2x, right, because uh, u prime was 2, u was 2x, 2 over 2x reduces into 1 over x. Let's take a look at another one here that's got a binomial. So we want to find the derivative of the natural log of the quantity of x squared plus 1. So we're going to make u equal to x squared plus 1. We're going to take the derivative of u and call it u prime, which is 2x. So essentially, u prime over u, the answer is 2x divided by x squared plus 1. So in essence, like mentally for you to do this, it's really you take 1 over whatever the stuff is times the derivative of the stuff. All right, in layman's terms. So if we revisit example 5, it's going to be 1 over x squared plus 1 times the derivative of x squared plus 1. So 1 over x squared plus 1 times 2x gives us 2x over x squared plus 1. That's kind of putting it in more uh, simplistic terms there. All right, let's take a look at this one. We have the derivative of x times the natural log of x. This is a product rule. Uh, there's not a, really a way to rewrite this log to simplify it. It's just first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So x times the derivative of natural log of x plus natural log of x times the derivative of x. So when we do that, it's first, so it's going to be x times the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. So that's why we have x times 1 over x plus we're going to take natural log of x times the derivative of x, which is 1. So if you remember back into chapter 2 when we had to go through all the product rules, Okay, that's where everything was there. I think it was chapter 3. Somewhere in there where we did all the product rules. Um, so uh, x times 1 over x gives us 1 because it's x over x. And then natural log of x times 1 is natural log of x. So our solution is 1 plus natural log of x. Okay, example 7. Now this is where it actually is to our advantage to use one of the power rules first. Okay or essentially kind of a chain rule when we do that sort of thing. So um, notice, I'm sorry, we can't use the power rule in this one because the cube is on the outside of the natural log of x. So see how it's, uh, if it was natural log of x cubed, all right, then we'd be able to use the power rule and do it that way. In this case, it's a chain rule because it's the whole quantity natural log of x cubed. So it's the power rule, so we have to bring down the exponent, subtract the other exponent from 1, so that's why it's 3 times natural log of x to the second, times the derivative of natural log of x, right, that's the derivative of the inside stuff, which is 1 over x. So that's why our solution is 3 times natural log of x quantity squared times 1 over x, or we end up with 3 natural log of x quantity squared over x we simplify that. So make sure we understand this is this is not rewriting a log. This is actually the chain rule. Uh, so we got a power rule in effect here. So the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside when we do that function. Okay. So in this case, we're going to do a little u substitution here. Okay. And we got to make sure this stems from what we did in chapter four, sort of with rewriting some things. All right, so uh, we're going to differentiate f of x equals natural log of the square root of x plus 1. We're going to make u the stuff under the square root sign. So that's going to give us u prime, which is 1. So we're going to have u, and we're going to have u prime. So then when we actually rewrite this, it's going to be natural log of the square root of u. We're going to rewrite the natural log of u to the 1 half. We're going to take that square root and write it as a 1 half. Now we can use the power rule, 
bring that one half down in front so we have one half times the natural log of u and now we can take the derivative of that the derivative of one half times natural log of u is one half times u prime over u or just one over u okay in this case because the derivatives one so we're gonna have one half u prime which is one divided by u which is x plus one so that's our solution right there alright here's where we gotta take them to the next level this one looks challenging right so the first step for us when we get a more complex one here in example nine we have f of x equals the natural log of x times x squared plus one quantity squared divided by the square root of 2x cubed minus 1. So this stems back from what we did in the first video. We literally rewrite this first. So we're going to undo the division okay, using properties of logs. So this ends up being natural log of x times x squared plus 1 quantity squared minus the natural log of the square root of 2x cubed minus 1. So we undid the division with subtraction. And notice the term on the left, we have x times the quantity x squared plus 1 squared. We have to rewrite that in terms of logs too. So that that multiplication turns into plus. So we're going to get natural log of x plus natural log of the quantity of x squared plus 1 squared minus natural log. We're going to take that square root sign and write it with a power of 1 half. So 2x cubed minus 1 to the 1 half. Now we can use the power rules. So we leave natural x alone right now. Natural log of x alone plus that 2 that's on the quantity of x squared plus 2 gets to come down in front and then the 1 half that was the exponent on the 2x cubed minus 1 comes down in front now we can take the derivative the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x plus 2 times the derivative of x squared plus 1 is what it's 1 over x squared plus 1 times the derivative of x squared plus 1 so it's 1 over x squared plus 1 times 2x or we simply rewrite that as 2x over x squared plus 1. Hopefully you're getting the hang of that rule here. If we look at the next one it's going to be 1 half times 1 over 2x cubed minus 1 times the derivative of 2x cubed minus 1 which is 6x squared. So we can rewrite that as the derivative of the stuff over the stuff. The derivative of the stuff is 6x squared. The stuff is 2x cubed minus 1. So that's why that last term and for all the terms it's really uh, that simple when we break that down. So when we simplify everything, we get 1 over x plus 4x over x squared plus 1 minus the 6 divided by 2 uh, gets us uh, a 3 there. The 2 on the outside with the 1 half, not the 2 with the x cubed. All right, so then we're going to get 3x squared divided by 2x cubed minus 1. And that is as simple as that function gets. All right, let's do another one very similar. Example 10, we want to find the derivative. We're given f of x equals natural log of 2x divided by x plus 3. First thing, undo the division. So we're going to use the properties of logs to rewrite that. When we do that, the properties of log is natural log of 2x minus natural log of x plus 3. So that division turns into minus. You can take the derivative of each term here. Uh, the derivative of natural log of 2x is 1 over 2x times 2 minus the derivative of uh, natural log of x plus 3 is 1 over x plus 3 times 1. Remember, it's just the derivative of the stuff over the stuff. So that's it just comes down to make sure that you're learning that. That becomes pretty easy. Uh, when we simplify all this down, we're going to get 1 over x minus 1 over x plus 3. Let's take a look at example 11. We have this one similar to a homework problem, so make sure that you're paying attention on this one as well. Find the derivative of y equals natural log of natural log of x squared. So how do we approach this problem here? All right. So it's really just going to give us what? The derivative of natural log, the first one. It, this is really kind of a, a, a chain rule, okay? It's 1 over natural log of x squared, because that's the derivative of the outside piece, times the derivative of the inside piece. The inside piece is natural log of x squared. So we have to do that derivative a little separate here. Okay, so treat this as the outside is the first natural log here. The inside is the stuff inside the parentheses, natural log of x squared. 
So the derivative of the outside is 1 over natural log of x squared times the derivative of the inside, which is 2x over x squared. All right, so we can combine these as one function. All right, the x over the x squared uh, simplifies down to 1 over x. So when we simplify this down, we end up getting 2 over x natural log of x squared. Okay, and we can rewrite uh, this other piece, the natural log of x squared. That 2 can come down in front. All right, so on the bottom, we can have x times 2 natural log of x, and then the 2s can cancel. So if we simplify this all the way down, it's 1 over x times natural log of x. So just rewriting this problem a couple times. So the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside, still a chain rule kind of effect going on here. Okay, and then being able to rewrite uh, some using the properties of logs to get this simplified down even more. All right, this one's also like your homework problem. We have a long polynomial here. So we're gonna find the derivative given f of x equals the natural log of 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x minus 7. So when we do this problem, it's going to be the derivative, since it's a natural log derivative, and it's going to be 1 over that stuff times the derivative of that stuff. So I'm going to write it as 1 over 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x minus 7. That's the 1 over that stuff. That's the natural log derivative times the derivative of that stuff, all right? The derivative of 4x cubed is 12x squared, plus the derivative of 3x squared is 6x, plus the derivative of 5x is 5, and then minus 0, we don't have to write that. So then we just write it as one fraction, so it ends up being 12x squared plus 6x plus 5, divided by 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x minus 7. Hopefully you're starting to see now you know just how simple it is to take the derivative of the natural log. 1 over the stuff times the derivative of the stuff. I know that that's not technical verbiage, but that's a good way to kind of just jog your memory and, and be able to get through it. All right, so next we're going to learn, uh, we're going to do a couple examples that will help you on your homework, uh, being able to take the limit of a natural log function and that sort of thing. So we're going to pick that up in the next video. So this is the end of uh, lecture two here for uh, 5.1.